here is my light machine helicopter 117 this is a homemade custom jet ranger body I made um, I gotta redo it over because when I put the gas tank in it ended up splitting the body so I have to make it wider right here but this is how it would look and the tail, tail boom covers on the other side but the main thing is this engine this helicopter will never have any problems ever again with power I've modified it to take a Pico point twelve motor which was pretty easy to put in Let's see if I can get this body off Once you pop it off, the body just comes right out. So, this has a Pico Point 12 motor. The modifications was pretty easy, it took less than a day to do. Most of the parts are all stock, if you have spare parts on a light machine helicopter. The only problem is, is that I couldn't get a Pico with a sliding carburetor. This has a rotary. And we all know that the throttle linkage slides back and forth, so I'm going to figure out how to build a bell crank for the throttle. But it spins smoothly, has bearings in the clutch. You can still use the same starter cone to start the engine, and it still has the same clutch shaft. A different clutch and a flywheel. Pretty easy modification. Got the same tank. Now the main rotor shaft is too short because the engine's a little bit longer. So this is 530 seconds piano wire you can get at your local hobby store. And then you just cut a slot where it inserts at the top in the rotor head. And then make it a little bit longer like I did. And then you just use a Dremel to make a flat surface for the screws to screw into it. And the exhaust. And the best part is this helicopter is not going to be messy when you're flying it. Because the exhaust comes out here in the back. And all I got to do now is get one of my little tubes. And I can run this all the way to the back of the tail and have it disperse coming out sideways and as the tail rotor is spinning it's just going to blow that exhaust gas away keep the helicopter nice and clean you don't have to worry about putting your finger over the intake to choke the engine you want to start it just put your finger over the exhaust use the same starter motor it'll suck in the fuel this engine has maximum 40,000 RPMs. The normal point zero seven was maxing out at 22. So you're going to have plenty of head speed. More than what the manufacturer recommends. But you'll never have problems with being underpowered or the engine being fickled and you know, scarce glow plugs for this engine. You know, but still takes the same fuel tank. You know, you know, just cut a little bit away from the frame for the engine to fit in. Dribbled out the holes, <clears throat> the mounting holes a little bit bigger so these screws can fit in. You know, nice freewheeling bearings and the clutch. So I started it up. It runs good, but I have to have somebody set the high speed needle valve because it started to bog down. But even at about half throttle, this engine wanted to climb out of my hands so this is a homemade tail boom um fin this is just polystyrene plastic just cut out in the same shape of the other fin but upside down and this is just tape I put on it just to blend in with the, uh, the Jet Ranger's body you know but yeah this Spins nicely. 
So, for anybody who has light machines, helicopters, you don't have to throw them away or sell them. You can just modify the body. Very little. It cost me about maybe under 50 bucks to modify it. Maybe about $25 or less to modify with all the parts I needed. Um, the engine was about $70. The exhaust I had when it was black, but this one's blue. I like because it matches the whole body. So that was like another ten dollars or so and I have my gyro so you can modify yours too you know you don't have to have a whole lot of engineering experience to modify this helicopter and put it in you know this engine in I even have a little fuel filter in there too you know this is the low speed needle valve. This is the high speed, I believe. You know, engine runs good. Um, the body, like I said, this was made out of polystyrene plastic. The same stuff that most RC car bodies are made out of, but it's thin sheets. Um, I'm going to rebuild the body over. And once you learn how to make it, and you get the measurements right, it's, it's pretty easy to build. This one took me about four hours to make, but now that I know how to do it, I could probably do it in about an hour. And the back here had a, 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 tr a door that would open up, and then it would give you access to the engine. But since I'm going to redo the body over, then you know, I don't have to worry about that. And the next project will be, it's hard to get replacement blades, so I'm thinking of modifying the rotor head just a little bit to take regular asymmetrical blades. They'll be fixed pitch still, but they'll be asymmetrical, and you can adjust the angle of attack manually. And then the next project will be to make this collective pitch. I got several ideas how to do it and it won't be expensive because I'm doing these videos to show people you don't need a whole lot of engineering experience and access to expensive tools to modify your projects you know so let me know what you think about it